And now for some military news. An active duty soldier has been sentenced to 44 months in prison for assaulting officers who protected the Capitol during the January 6th insurrection. Federal prosecutors said that James Philip Malt traveled from Rochester, New York with friends and took part in a mob that attacked officers in the Lower West Terrace Tunnel. He later climbed the tunnel archway and doused officers with a chemical spray. Malt was then a member of the New York Army National Guard and joined the active duty Army after the failed insurrection. Federal agents arrested him at Fort Bragg, North Carolina, where he served as a combat engineer with the 82nd Airborne Division. An Army spokesperson told Army Times that he passed a background check after the January 6th riot, and there was nothing in his file to prevent him from serving at the time. The U.S. made a big move to help Ukrainian soldiers wounded in the war there, with the approval to have them treated at a major American military hospital in Germany. Recently, Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin announced that Ukrainian troops could receive treatment at the Lundstall Regional Medical Center, a large hospital used for decades to treat troops injured in combat in Iraq and Afghanistan. The plan was approved more than a month ago, but no Ukrainian troops have yet been treated at the hospital. The recent announcement was meant to formalize the plan and remove red tape. The U.S. military is authorized to treat up to 18 Ukrainian troops at the hospital. And last week it was missiles. This week it's torpedoes. Want to see how the U.S. and Allied navies launch underwater warheads at targets? The Navy released more footage recently of a variety of different torpedo delivery systems from the recent Rim of the Pacific exercise. Video showed the Royal Canadian Navy frigate Winnipeg launching several torpedoes and a CH-148 Cyclone helicopter demonstrating an aerial drop. The launches were part of the annual multinational naval exercise that brings together countries like the US, Australia, New Zealand, and Japan, among a long list of others. There's no footage this year of those torpedoes hitting a target, but if it shows up, we'll bring it to you. And finally, the Senate Armed Services Committee recently held a confirmation hearing for Lieutenant General Michael Langley to become the Marine Corps' first black four-star general. Langley was nominated by President Joe Biden in June to lead U.S. Africa Command, the combatant command responsible for military operations on the African continent. Langley joined the Marine Corps in 1985 and has master's degrees from both the U.S. Army and Naval War Colleges. It is a great honor to be the president's nominee to lead U.S. AFRICOM. The command will continue to address the dual, the dual challenges of strategic competition and violent extremism. The People's Republic of China and the Russian Federation continue to expand their access and influence across the continent. Simultaneously, organizations such as Al-Shabaab, ISIS, Al-Qaeda, and JNAM expand their reach and threaten American citizens in our interests. If confirmed, I will campaign to address these issues and work with fellow combatant commanders to ensure our plans are integrated across the globe. Following the committee's hearing recently, Langley's nomination now heads to the full Senate for a vote. He is expected to be confirmed.